What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Floyd and I fish in China. Today, I'm gonna to be targeting the black carp. This is what this pond is known for, is having the black carp. And I'm gonna be throwing a little bit of corn on my fly rod and see if I can pick one of them up nice and easy. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments. Let's get into it. These black carp are so fired up right now. A little bit of corn on just a bare hook. Just gonna sit there on the bottom and they are gonna come and get it. Hopefully anyway, hopefully. I am on a black carp. I'm on a black carp. I'm on one. They fight like dogs. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is amazing. Oh my finger. Do not come off, fish. Do not come off. Come on. This is the simplest rig you could ever throw. Oh my God, he doesn't like it. I can't horse him. I'm using a 3X tippet. And luckily I did double my lot knot to make it sured. Uh, the last time I fought one of these, it was a 10 minute fight. My net is probably too small for this guy. Wow, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whew, my forearms are... Where are you going? Okay, this way, this way. Okay, 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 okay. This way, this way, come on. Oh, my forearm is giving out on me. They, these black carp have got some incredible power, but this is a three weight. This thing is flimsy, look at that bend. This thing is bent enough. Oh, they, oh, I just have to wear them out. I haven't got the, the backbone required to really shoo them in you. This is a big fish. This has got to be over 10 pounds. I see the tippet, I see the tippet. Now I've got to try and keep them fairly away from the wall. Oh God, oh God. Bit of drag head, give them a bit of drag head. Jesus, he's wearing me out. He's wearing me out. This is a crazy fight. Oh God. This fish is fighting like hell. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. I feel like he's done. Oh no, he's not done. He's not done. Jesus Christ, my forearm. Let me see you. Come on, guy. I know you're almost done. There he is, there he is. Look at that beauty. Look at that beautiful fish. This way, this way, this way. Come on, fish. Come on, come on. Come on, fish. He's still not done. There's an even bigger one there, right there. Just, you don't even care that he's but he's, but he's on the hook. Looks like he's done, looks like he's done. What a beast. What an absolute beast. Such a big hook. Such a big bloody fish. That's a 10 pounder, maybe even a 15 pound black carp right there. Beautiful thing. Let's get him back in the water. Let's revive him. Oh, and he's away, he's away. They're so resilient, these black carp. It was nine minutes and 52 seconds since I clicked the GoPro. Uh, I'll show you exactly what I was working with. Fly rod, quite a fat hook with a piece of treated corn. It's a piece of this treated corn, four pieces of it jammed onto the hook. And he picked up slowly. I watched the line start to walk away and bam, I set the hook. I was on him for 10 minutes. Bundle of corn, flicked it out there with a bit of line, let it sit on the bottom and waited. 
Nice bass. Good little bass. Nice. He's not bad. I'd say pound and a half. On the spinner. He came out from under the wall. Just a little guy. Nothing special. But uh, there we go. Winter fishing. If you don't do it, if you if you go fishless for the winter months, try. Go out, have a day or two. You don't have to do it every single day. You don't have to do it every single week. But it is worth yeah, it. Yeah, so I've moved around. I was I was there, right there, at that uh, gazebo kind of deal. I was there for the first three hours in the morning. But I've moved around now into this back corner. You probably recognize this from the channel if you're a regular viewer. I've caught a lot of fish in this area. I've seen a lot of black carp in this area before. After that lady walked around dumping the bleach in the water, the bite died. I did catch one bass immediately after it, but I, I mean, I hadn't caught a bass all morning on the spinnerbait, and then I caught one immediately after she dumped all the bleach. I think it was just a freak occurrence, so I'm hoping a bass will come over and pick it up, or even an asp, or a catfish, because there are catfish in here. I see some fish. I see some fish there. Yeah, we'll see how this goes now for the next however long it takes. Did you see that line go? That was so unfortunate, I missed that hook set. Oh yeah. Just a little bass, but uh, that is the first fish for a long while on the all-rounder. That's a strong barb. This little guy a bit diseased. Yeah, not bad fish. I lost a lure under the dock up there one time, under the little pontoon restaurant thing. I said, I can see it, I want to get it, it's expensive. I said, no, no, we can't get it for you. I said, well, I'm going to get it they said no you're not you're not you're not going in the water to get it i said i am unless you go in the water and get it then i am if you're not going to i am i'm not rich enough to leave that lure just under your dock for you it's not gonna happen and they said no so i waited till they turned their backs and i climbed under literally climbed under and uh, got my lure back in about 30 seconds had wet feet had spare shoes in the car done easy would i do it again hell yeah would i tell them i did it Probably not, because I don't want to get banned from the best lake in Chengdu. But it's not the best lake in Chengdu anymore, because, well, they, all their fish have died a couple months ago, and it's the first time I've been back since. Well, the fishing is just not great. Two bass, one black carp, it's just not great. It's, it's okay. It's enjoyable. It's fishing. But it used to be a lot better. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, my name's Floyd. I fish regularly in Chengdu, China. Today was, I won't say a bust. It wasn't really a bust, but it wasn't the best fishing in the world. But I knew what I was expecting coming into this, and I was expecting there to be no fish whatsoever, because last time we came here, it was right after a big die-off, and the fishing was awful the last time I was here. I actually caught fish today. I actually caught the fish I wanted to catch. We came here to catch a black carp, and I caught a black carp. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the like button. If you wouldn't mind, please consider subscribing to the channel. I make fishing videos every single week. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Thank you very much.